So the halfway point in our Champions League group stage looks a little bit like this. Three games played, obviously, just the one point because we played PSG in between episodes and we lost 4-1, which is no surprise to anybody. Today, we're going to be playing PSG again away from home this time and against Ajax at home. That is the key match. Also, in between episodes, what did we do? We lost 3-1 against St. Gallen. Not a very good result there. We also beat, uh, I need to drew them, we beat uh, D Dudingen, could be their name, 5-0, we played a very rotated side in this one, a 0-0 draw against Young Boys, a 4-1 defeat as we know against PSG, a 5-0 victory against Lausanne, and a 2-0 win against Paradiso in the Swiss Cup third round. Let's play PSG, and let's just not embarrass ourselves. So this is what I consider to be our best starting lineup, that's obviously PSG's probably best starting lineup. This is what I consider to be ours, and you'll notice in goal is number one, Enrico Fleury. We've got Aragoni, Scherz, Lasada, and Schmid in defence. Schmid is the concern. He is the main concern. We've got Hamza Raffia back in our starting eleven as well. Harvey Elliott on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side is going to be Jaden Braff, and already after literally no time has passed, we've got a highlight, and PSG are coming forward with a ball. Lasada heads back to the Swiss slash Portuguese goalkeeper. I think he's part Portuguese. Flurry to Scherz with the ball. Lumps it upfield towards nobody. It's coming straight back towards us. Neymar, Marquinhos, Makoku across to Sanchez. I assume that's Renato Sanchez on the left-hand side. Stops and crosses it in. It's Makoku, but he heads wide of Flurry's post. First chance goes to PSG. Did take 35 seconds to get there. We've got a corner. Elliot's going to take it. It's cleared by Vlahovic. And now Sanchez is going to go for a run. I was almost hopeful that something was going to come from that corner then. And we just immediately give the ball away to PSG. So we are, what, nine minutes on the clock. Bastoni with the ball. PSG passing around their defence. Aragoni's got that somehow. Not sure how he managed to get that. Scherz goes all the way back to Fleury, who smashed outfield to find Jaden Brath. Now Brunner. Schmid on the left-hand side. Braff needs to run into the space. Or Brenner can break the offside trap. And we should be 1-0 up. We should be 1-0 up. Admittedly, it was a very tight angle. But still, he got past the goalkeeper. Corner for Neymar to take. 20 minutes on the clock. Vlahovic has been pushed over by Perchers. That's going to be a penalty. Sometimes we just make absolutely ridiculous mistakes like that. And we just give away penalties in big games. We get players sent off in big games when we're in a position to potentially get something out of it. And if this is a pen and they score it, I imagine this is going to be game over. It is a pen. Vlahovic is going to be the man to take it. Come on, Enrico. Come on, Enrico Fleury. Been thrust into the first team unexpectedly because uh, Gavin Mazzunu is just awful at football at the moment. Vlahovic then steps up left-footed. Oh, my word. I thought Fleury saved it. I thought Fleury saved it. He didn't. He has managed to find the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to PSG. Free kick for Neymar to take. Vlahovic is there. He's hit the post. And Agume can smash the ball off for a corner. Elsewhere, it looks like Milan and uh, Ajax are currently potentially nil-nil. It's definitely a draw. Marquinhos' headed effort goes over the bar, which means we do drop to the bottom of the pile because, obviously, we're not drawing anymore. Neymar with a corner. Ten minutes left of the first half. Demiral's headed effort goes over the bar. It's 1-0 to PSG, and they are starting to just... I was going to say get into this game. Ajax are beating Milan. Ajax are beating Milan. Are we going to finish bottom of this group? Has this just been a disastrous season? Makoku goes for a long-range effort, hits it well over the bar. It's 1-0. Ajax are 1-0 up against Milan, which means we're going to be bottom of the group and we are going to be three points clear at the bottom alone. We have to beat Ajax and then ideally get something against Milan as well. Makoku's effort easily saved by Fleury. Was that the highlight? Yes. Yes, it was. There's been a lot of highlights in the first half. And only one goal. It, maybe two. There should be two. There is two. Brenner has just nicked that. That's amazing. Can't believe we've managed to steal that goal. So Demerel literally just passed it to Brenner, right? Did he try and dink it over? I wasn't really paying attention. He tried to... I think he tried to get it to Bastoni. Brenner just intercepts it. Can easily put that past Donnarumma. It is 1-1. That's... This is suddenly getting interesting. We do need to still score some more goals. I'm going to say I'm happy with your performance. And then I'm going to say to Schmid, I'm not happy with you. And also Elliot and Braff, I'm also not happy with you either. Into the second half, what we need now is Milan to score and us to get another goal as well. And then that will put us into third place, comfortably into third place as well. It's Lasada with a free kick, 10 minutes in. Braff, Kapsevich back to Lasada. 
Kapsevich again, now Schmid on the left-hand side, plays the ball forward to Jaden Braff, across to Harvey Elliott, and Harvey Elliott has made it 2-1 against PSG, and we have taken the lead in Paris, and this is potentially the greatest comeback I've ever seen. I've probably seen better, but still, this is a very good comeback. If this is how it is going to stay, this is ridiculous. Vlahovic to Makoku, Lasada intercepts back to Fleury. We can calmly get the ball clear, although we've got it clear straight to Marquinhos. It's now Bastoni to Sanchez to Frank Kessie, who I assume is on their subs bench. That's a ridiculous player to be able to bring onto the pitch. Mendes down the left-hand side, crosses it in, Makoku's there, goes for a headed effort, it's wide and over. Now, if Milan score, that would be ideal. Also, this certainly throws the cat amongst the pigeons if it stays this way, because we are now two points behind Milan, and we could potentially go through to the first knockout rounds if we get some results going our way. Mendes is not going to get there first, Alan Aragoni is. Back to Fleury. First time kick from the keeper, straight to a PSG shirt though. And they're coming back forward. Benjamin Sesko. Is he come off the bench as well? Hakimi goes off towards the right-hand side. Crosses it in. It's a superb save. And oh my word, what's happened there? We've managed to clear the ball. We've got a free kick anyway. Something's just gone on there that was pretty decent. Right, let's do a sub. Raffia is struggling. Who do we put there? Harvey Elliott. Hear me out. He's on a 7.0. He's playing well. Hopefully he can carry on playing well. Dominic Schmid. We need a left back, don't we? We need a left back. Joan Kahn, have you got a left foot? You don't have a left foot, but I think... Uh, is it Scherz does? One of you does. Lasada, have you got a left foot? Yes, Lasada's going to be our left back, which is not ideal, but he's a bit better than Joan Kahn. Do have a six foot six left back. Got a highlight, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping this is a goal for Brenner. Jaden Braff collects this. 70th minute on the clock. We're coming forward. This is looking promising. Crosses it in. It's... It's with Jaden Brath. Okay, I thought the ball was going to get cleared. I don't think this is an actual highlight. Rafia to Kapsevich takes a touch. It's a superb block. Elliot's not going to get there. Mendes clears the ball, and there you go. There wasn't really a highlight there, but they did get me excited a little bit. Final 15 minutes. Pershers to Aragoni on the right. I mean, we're looking actually very good here. Brenner's not going to get there. It wasn't the best pass. Bastoni goes all the way back to Donnarumma. Marquinhos to Bastoni. I mean, if we get something out of this game, we have to thank Demerol because Demerol basically gave us the way back into this game. Swedberg to Sanchez to Kessie to Herve to Swedberg. Once again, we're putting the pressure on. So all the way back with Donnarumma. Brenner's closing him down. He's not going to get there in time, though. We've not managed to win the headed effort either. Sesco with the ball. Managed to get some space for himself. He's going to go all the way. Fleury needs to stop this, and Fleury does stop this. The young keeper... He's certainly keeping us in this game. Mendes with a corner, left-footed towards Marquinhos. Fleury with a spectacular television save. What is going on? Fleury's jumping all over the place. Are we going to counter? Brenner's got no support. He's going to have to go it alone. That's a yellow card for Herve. And that is, I mean, it's a sensible foul, isn't it? Fleury, I love him. He's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Herve with the ball, off towards the right-hand side. Is Hakimi with space, crosses it in. Sesko's there, doesn't get on the end of it. And Lasada can volley it clear. But it wasn't the most logical move from the left back. I say left back. The descent centre back playing as a left back. Sesco headed effort over the bar. Do we go? I mean, we're still playing positive. I feel like we should shut, shut up shop. But also, I feel like that's a bad idea. We're going to go for it. We're going to try this. We have a park the bus tactic. So what we can do, we can rearrange basically players that we currently have in the squad or in the side. So that isn't too much of a problem. So Agume is going to drop in to be the anchor man. Brutan as a right winger doesn't really work, does it? I mean, we might need to do this, and then we can bring on Pusic, who can actually play there. Jaden Braff as well, maybe. I don't think we can do any more subs. We can't do any more subs. Right, so that's that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Pusic is coming on then for Brenner, and uh, Brutan is going to move up to be our striker. We're parking the bus for the final five minutes of the game, and it is PSG coming forward. Vlahovic crosses in, Sesko's there, and of course... The moment we park the bus, they score a goal. Right, we're going back to what we were doing. So we just need to do that, I think. There we go, straight away. That should work. Yes, there is a change, and that's why I've done the change in tactics. It's going to be don't score now. Don't score now. Flurry with a save stops it from going in. We've got no minutes of extra time to play. There's a corner 30 seconds after the, the 94. There is a corner 30 seconds after the 94. If they score from this, that's cheating. Flurry can hold on. And it is going to be a 2-2 draw in Paris. That's a ridiculously good result. We should have won the game. 
we should have won the game. Parking the bus does not do anything. The moment I parked the bus, we conceded a goal. Frustratingly though, Ajax beat Milan, which means we are still bottom of the group. Two points to our name. We are going to go forward to play Ajax next. This is now a must-win game. A win will put us into third place on five points and drop Ajax down to the bottom. And then we need to hope that Ajax don't get anything against PSG because I don't think we're going to get anything against Milan. We are back the other side of the two league games and we are looking at Gavin Bazunu because he is now transfer listed. I've had enough. I basically played him in a couple of league games to see how he'd do and he's been horrendous. His last five matches, he has an average rating of just over a 6.2. I've given him a warning. He didn't accept the warning for some reason, despite the fact that he's conceded 2, 4, 8, 12. He's conceded 12 goals in 5 games. Actually, he's conceded 12 goals in 4 games. He's conceded 14 goals in 5 games. So, yeah, uh, Gavin Bazunu is going to be off. Enrico Fleury is now our new number one. And just in case you weren't sure who Enrico Fleury is, this is the man who is going to be taking up our number one goalkeeping position. I'm going to need to make sure that he's not on the transfer list, uh, loan list, sorry, because he is now our number one goalkeeper. Despite the fact that Gavin Bazunu is just a useless goalkeeper at the moment, we did manage to win both of our games, but it was against 8th and ninth place in the table. Winterfell was 4-2, Will was 5-2, Brenner scoring a total of five goals in two games there. Let's play Ajax. We've got to get some points here. And by points, I mean win. So we're going for a strong team once again. The only change I think that we've done since the last match on camera is we are going to be playing Joan Khan in defence today rather than Pershers, who loves to give away penalties. Ten minutes on the clock and we've got a highlight. Fair enough. It's towards Joan Khan. It's a kick clash as well. Lovely. Why do we keep playing in kick clashes? Unavar is going to go for a run towards the right-hand side. He's being tracked every single step of the way. I think by Harvey Elliott, of all people. Dorami's headed effort is straight into the hands of the keeper. Was that the highlight? It wasn't a very good header, so I don't think it was. Fleury running around his penalty area. Eventually kicks long towards Jaden Braff. Heads down to Brenner. Across to Braff once again. The Dutchman on the left-hand side. There's four in the box. He's gone all the way back to Dominic Schmid. Not really sure why he did that. Kapsevich to Agume. Right-hand side is Alan Aragoni with some space. We've gone back again. We had literally like four on two. Harvey Elliott's there. That's a great finish. I don't know whether it's going to count. No one's celebrating at all. So I don't think this is going to count. It is going to remain nil-nil in our Champions League group stage game, which is not ideal. We do need to win this one. But we're also only 14 minutes in. So let's give it time. Martinez with a free kick. David Klassen, Gravenberch, Unavar, Agume with a good slide tackle but doesn't find a single grasshopper's shirt. And now Martha to Fitz Jim. Plays it on the ground to Unavar. He's got uh, Lasada in front of him. Dorami's in on goal. Fleury makes another good save. And Alan Aragoni keeps it in and then can give away a throw rather than a corner. We are going to see it though. Tagliafico's throw. Dorami. Back to Tagliafico. A bit of space. Now Gravenberch. Put the pressure on, buddy. Put the pressure on. We are chasing the ball around. Like a bunch of 10-year-olds at the moment. Graven Birch, number 21. Who's our number? I should know my numbers. It's Raffia. Should have closed him down. Fitz Jim's in on goal. Fleury almost stops the second one. It was a good save from Fitz Jim. It's not a good save to stop Dorami. Ajax take the lead. And this could be Europe over already in episode two. Raffia with the ball for us. We are still obviously definitely plenty of time in this game to get back into it. Kapsevic doesn't quite get there, but Aaron Aragoni does. Shot is blocked by Tagliafico. And now the goal scorer can pass to his left back. Gets it back once again on the left-hand side. Dorami's going to go for a run. Forward, intercepted easily by Joan Khan. He's going for a run as well. Agume to Kapsevic. Right-hand side is Alan Aragoni. There's options. Brenner's won. Brenner loves the goal. We know this. He's crossed it in. It's towards Jaden Brath. And Jaden Braff is there at the back post. It is 1-1, 26 minutes played. We do need to score a couple more goals. Technically one more goal, but, you know, let's let's get a buffer. Elsewhere, it looks like PSG and Milan are still drawing. They are 0-0 at the moment. Dorami's just gone off injured for Ajax. That's good news. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left to play the first half injury time. Raffia's going to hopefully get there. He does and almost goes over Gorta. But he can hold on to that one. I thought Brenner was going to maybe try and get himself in the way. Doesn't manage to do it. Highlight's going to carry on. One minute 15 left now. Big kick on the left-hand side is a right Raisel. Raisel could be his name. Collects it. He's obviously come on for Dorami. Gravenberch with the ball. Crosses in. Get there first. We don't get there first. Now Martha. Now Fitz Jim curling effort and almost tucks it past our goalkeeper. 
but it has gone wide. And at half-time, it is 1-1. Alan Aragoni must have taken a clattering as part of that Durami injury. Does say he's injured, but feels he can shake it off. And on a 7.8, I'm going to keep him on for the moment. I'm going to keep him on for the moment. We do need to keep an eye on his fitness because basically that's a concern. I'm hoping it goes up. Once he starts running around, maybe his knee or whatever it is sorts itself out. It goes up a bit. Well, an hour in and it's not gone up at all. And Harvey Elliott's on a 6.2. What's going on? Sometimes our players are just superb and other times they're horrendous. Jaden Braff's going to collect this on the left. Back to Dominic Schmid. Facing away from goal. Has to go to Kapsevich. Across please to Agume. Or Aragoni. The injured man controls it well. Three in the box. Crosses it in. Jaden Braff is one of them. Brenner's another. And Brenner's hit it wide. Right, let's do some changes. Elliot coming off. Thea Brutan coming on. Raffia coming off. For, let's go for Billing. Let's try Billing as the shadow striker. Dominic Schmid, we've got no left backs. We know we've got no left backs. We're going to keep hold of that final sub. Or do we? Yeah, we're keeping hold of that final sub just in case we need to really bring Alan Aragoni off. Which I think we probably should do now anyway. There's a highlight, but I think this is just because of the uh, substitutions. Maybe. It might be because of the subs. Although we are potentially going to have a chance... It is Brenner, but Gorta can hold on. So yeah, it wasn't. It was a chance, but it wasn't a chance. Corner for Jaden Braff. We are definitely getting back into this game. Agume's there. He's hit the underside of the bar. How have we not managed to put that one in? We need somebody following up on those. Braff again to take the corner from the right. This time it is Agume again, actually. But he heads over the bar. We've got 22 minutes left to play. That Alan Aragoni substitution is going to have to happen, isn't it? I'm not liking his condition, which is very poor. Pershers is the man to come on and replace him. And, I mean, this is an exciting game of football with not many goals scored. Looking at the XG, there should be at least four goals in this game. There is only two. PSG have taken the lead against Milan, which is a surprisingly good result. Because if we win, it is not out of the realms of possibility that we could finish third and Milan finish bottom. Brutan's not going to get there. Agume's going to collect this. Pershers, for some reason, has taken our corners. Jaden Braff is there. Unmarked. It should have been 2-1. The full-time whistle goes. It's a 1-1 draw against Ajax. Is that a good result? I don't think it is. So with one group stage game left to play, we could finish second, technically, I think. So looking at the sorting rules, results between teams is the highest, then goal difference, then goal scored. Which means, if you have a look, we have lost... 4-1 against Milan. We need to beat them 4-0. We need to beat them 4-0 and then we will move up ahead of Milan. If we win and Ajax lose, then we will move into third place, which is arguably the result that we are looking for. That needs to be what we're going to go for. This episode is going to end here. Next episode, we will do the final Milan game and we'll do probably, I guess, young boys in the league. Sure, we'll have a league game. Sure, we'll do that. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will be back next time with more Football Manager.